What's up, YouTube? This your boy Rob the Water God. I'm back with another video, and I know, I know, guys, I haven't been dropping that much content on this channel. Been working a lot of channels, helping out a lot of content creators with their channel. So I decided, I was like, yo, since I'm really doing this and really helping uh, with hashtags, with the settings, with thumbnails, with editing, I might as well try to give game to some people trying to get into YouTube and don't let them make the same mistakes that I ain't going to say mistakes. I'm saying learn from what I learned from. So you can start right at the beginning and be like, you know, you hit the ground running. All right. So God, make sure that you subscribe and like, uh, if you like content like this, I'm just going over YouTube and how it can help you and some pointers on what you could do. If you want me to give you, I'm, I'm, I'm doing like $20 coaching calls, okay, for like 20 to 30 minutes. If you're trying to get monetized in 30 days, I can get you there. I can give you all the information, show you how to do it. I can do some other services too to help your YouTube because this is the number one reason why people don't be consistent with their YouTube. It's that they don't have the support. They need someone to tell them this is some things you got to do because when you see results, you're going to start moving. But if you don't see no results, it's okay. Okay, but if you guys hit the email, I will give you, I'm telling you, this is the best 20 you probably ever spent. I will give you a, 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 a consultation, a call, what you need to do, what are the best uh, niches that you can join in? What should you do right off the rip when you start your YouTube channel? You know, I can give you some game that, you know, a lot of these guys on YouTube is not giving. I can't just run it off from here because I don't want YouTube to be like, hey. They know the inside scoop, but trust me, I got the inside scoop. People getting monetized real quick. People getting to the bag real fast. Okay, now we got that out of the way. Now, let's get into picking a niche, all right? Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay, this is one of my niches, okay? In, the first, in 20 views, $47, all right? Um, it just got monetized like two or three weeks ago. So... It's cool. We're not really tripping on that. My main, the, the channel that you guys are watching on now, Water God TV, I've made about $171 on it, but I after that, I haven't been practicing because I've been moving with a lot of channels and helping channels uh, now. So I haven't been dropping, but only on my shrewd news and reviews, uh, me and my cousin, Ja, we've been dropping on this channel. So that's the one I've been, but I'm going to get back on all my other channels just because of leads. I create channels now because of leads i need leads from a product that i'm selling so i would create a youtube channel put content on there just to make sure that i can get leads and to make sure that i'm generating leads on the youtube channel even for my clients anybody that i'm you know helping manage their channel so picking a niche is very important because youtube has terms and conditions all right now with my channel uh Water Guy TV, I was all over the place. At first, I was crypto. Then I wanted to do celebrity entertainment. And what happened was the two niches that I was on was really wasn't as suitable because they felt like crypto was like new. And when you talk about politics, and I was talking about Kanye West, it just, you know, the ads is not the same when you're talking about something that has no violence, no political, nothing about, you know, anybody getting any bad things happen because YouTube don't want that. So it's best to stay clear. I mean, I'm not going to say you can still do it. It's a way you got to do it and still, you know, generate income. But just be careful with the content you make because they change terms and conditions. And next thing you know, the stuff that you do on the YouTube channel one is no longer tolerated. All right. So um, make sure you pick the right niche. Content creation. Okay. When you're creating content, um, a lot of people create content and they think that when they create the content, that's it. I'm going to tell you it's only 20% of the job as far as creating the content. Uh, Another part of it is research, okay? You gotta do certain research to try to understand who is your audience and what your audience likes. If you don't spend research time on that, and I've 
that problems with that too. Just thinking that whatever I like, they're going to like. And it's it don't work like that. Okay? You got to do keyword research. You got to know the algorithm. Before you choose a before you choose what a topic that you're going to do a video on. If you're not looking at numbers and like okay and you understand you are amateur. You know, the real guys that are really doing this they need evidence. They need facts to understand why they're dropping. They ain't just dropping off stuff that they like. Now, not to say you can't go right with just dropping what you like, but be more accurate. Calculate. Don't just do stuff to just talk on, you know, YouTube. It's bigger than that, right? Saving time. Saving time is important with YouTube. Okay, when I first jumped on YouTube, it was like I didn't have a time factor in my videos. I didn't understand. You know, now my clients understand how much time on the video that they need. Okay, and you don't want to do too much time. You don't want to do too less. Okay, you want to give them enough information in there that's good, but you don't want to be too long. And you'll save a lot of time by hashtags, tags, keywords. This is the biggest part of the YouTube channel because you have to be visible. You have to be able to be seen. So if your thumbnail's on point, you got the right tags and the content is, you know, it's good content, you're going to grow. You're going to get subscribers. People going to watch what you got going on. You know, that's simple. All right. Why YouTubers stop? Uh, YouTubers stop producing on YouTube because of support. Okay, it gets a little, you know, hectic when you got to choose topics and you got to do shorts, you know, when you got to record, you got to edit, when you got to do everything, it's it is going to be time consuming. And this could be the reason why you stop, because if you're not making the adequate enough money, you're going to put your time in something that you already make money. So. The best thing I could tell you is stay consistent. Have you a team? Have you a mentor? Have you a coach? Have you a cheerleader? You need these people, you know, on your team because everybody needs to be pushed, you know? And with the YouTube, pretty much it just, you need to, you know, always keep that push and know that one day, you know, you're going to be profitable. You're going to sell products. Now, I'm going to leave my email in the description. You hit the email. Give me your, uh, send me your phone number in the email. I'm going to text you. i send you where you can, you know, we can set up this uh, consultation call where I can give you the best information that you're going to find on YouTube right now. You know, I don't know, but I'm telling you that I've been getting great results with people that, uh, been using it, uh, my boy with the trucking has just been amazing. He got a whole, he has a whole bookload of business of people that he's managing. And he only dropped, you know, probably about 14, 15 videos on trucking. And after that, his overload was so much of people that, you know, he dispatching for that, you know, he is riding on his uh, license is that he's at a capacity full, that he's so busy. So if you want to get leads and you want to make sales, YouTube is the best way. And the best way is to start small, which meaning start small and still try to put your ads out. Tell people about what you're selling. Get what you're selling out first. Don't be like how I did. You know, I'm selling stuff out in the real world. And then on YouTube, I'm not even telling you about what I'm selling, you know. So don't make that mistake. But Guys, hit the email. I can give you a consultation call. Trust me, it's going to be the best $20 that you spent to make you some money. Okay, I got already got a support and, uh, team. And if you got some areas that you're not really good with when you want to start YouTube, I got people already plugged in from the channels that I'm managing and the ones that I'm using for my channels. You can use it, okay? Low price and get in the door to make that money. All right, now I'm trying to manage some more. I'm not trying to overwhelm myself so Hit the email. Let me know. Let's have a discussion. See how I can help you. Put you on the right path. Make this easy, simple for you. And get you to the bag. All right? So, guys, make sure you hit the like button. Push the algorithm. Get Hit the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think is, like, what's the tough 
part about YouTube for you. I got a lot. I could be on here all day telling you about stuff, but hit me on that coaching call so I can get you right. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.